Hey, good morning friends. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you're all good. It's Tuesday morning, just coming up to 8.30. So I hope your week's going okay so far. I'm just heading out to work. I'm heading down to the um, tyre garage because I've got a puncher on my um, front left tyre. They're meant to be run flats, but the air's leaking out like nobody's business even though I keep trying to pump it up. This happened on Saturday. I'm sorry I'm waffling on, I'm going off on a tangent. I know, I do apologise. I was meant to take my son back to university on Sunday but couldn't because the tyre, they didn't have my tyre size in stock, which has happened before because it's a run flat. Um, I know, it's crazy. So the tyre came in yesterday afternoon. Actually, they rang me about five o'clock. So um, I'm just gonna pump the tyre up now and uh, scoot all my way down to the tyre place to get a new tyre fitted and then we're going to head up into London because I've got a private hospital to visit in Harley Street and then it's back to the office and then home later this evening maybe in time for a spin out on the bike as well we'll see uh, we'll see how the time goes but it's meant to be dry and warm all day it's a bit cloudy at the moment but we better make tracks because I've got to pump that tyre up um, so friends let's go So I'm up in London, had a bit of a nightmare of a morning, tyres still not fixed on the car. The tyres in, but the lease company won't let the tyre company fit a Bridgestone tyre. It has to be a, Mi no, they won't let them fit a Pirelli tyre, it has to be a Bridgestone or a Michelin, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I had to pump the tyre up twice on my way to the uh, garage. But um, I've left the car there, they've ordered in me another tyre and it should be coming in tomorrow morning, which is crazy. So I've walked to a train station to get a train into London and now I'm just heading round to Harley Street to the private hospital. So I'll see you in the <laughs> Guys, that's the uh, London Cardiovascular Clinic sorted out. Excellent stuff, what an amazing place in there. The uh, private hospitals in Harley Street are so nice.
Right, so I'm going to walk back to Baker Street now and then get back on the train. And then once back, I've got to walk to the tyre garage, pump the bloody tyre up, and then uh, drive home because that's as far as I can drive it. All the air is leaking out of the sidewall of the tyre, so it's a complete pain in the pump. But hey, hopefully, I'll get a new tyre. But before I head for the train, I've got to stop at Pret, my favourite food place. <laughs> as you guys know that have been watching the vlog for a long time. I do love going into Pret, so that's where I'm heading to now. And, then to Baker and I hope you're all good. It's so warm here in London, about 20 degrees, as I mentioned earlier. I hope you're having a cracking Tuesday, whatever you may be up to. Hey friends, good to see you again. I've managed to get out, it's just coming up to 3 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. So back from London, back from pumping my tire up again to uh, get me home. I only just managed it, but it's all good. <laughs> now I'm out, the sun is shining, just gonna do 10, 15 miles, just out for an hour or so. It's absolutely beautiful. It's warm with a slight breeze. I mean, there are some pretty grey clouds popping up behind me, so hopefully I don't get caught in a shower. But it's all good, fantastic to be out on the bike. I've got so much more energy than I had yesterday. I've just smashed it on a Strava segment, so I'll see how I've done when I get home. But it's all good, you lovely people. just done one of my favorite climbs one of my local favorite climbs anyway chain is hill been up it so many times no chance of a PR today though there was uh, some walkers that I had to uh, stop for because they were letting traffic come down but anyway friends I'm rambling on it doesn't matter what a great climb it was anyway it's over a mile in length max out 14% But it's a good one. I know some of you legends have ridden up it with me before in the past. But um, yeah, all good. I might have to ditch these arm warmers. As Richard would say, we're reaching DEFCON 3, maybe DEFCON 4, so they might have to come off because I'm getting blooming. But what a cracking afternoon for a quick spin. I'm totally so in the wrong gear. nearly eight miles so far, so I'm gonna sort of bump it up to 10 or 12 and then head back home and do some more work from home this afternoon. Um, yeah, which is all good. And um, David, oh, <laughs> David and Danny, Riders of the Week last week. I've packaged up your Rider of the Week caps and um, when I get back, I'm going to walk up to the post office and post them so you should get them tomorrow which will be Wednesday all being good you legends and uh, Richie I will uh, give you your ride of the month t-shirt to you on Sunday my good man it's honestly so warm for October the 2nd there's so many midges about I think they're all confused 
and I think tomorrow and uh, Thursday is going to be 20, 21 degrees down here anyway. Unbelievable, but obviously so good for getting out on your bike. So when I was in London this morning guys and I think I mentioned I was popping into Pret to get a sandwich or lunch or whatever well obviously I did um, but unlike other times well actually it's very similar to other times I usually buy two wraps or two flatbreads or whatever it may be and then eat them on the train on the way home or whatever but um, for the last two weeks or so because at lunch times I usually eat like two sandwiches two packs of sandwiches and something else but for the last two weeks or so I've been eating one sandwich or one wrap so having popped into Pret earlier on today I did buy two wraps and I've eaten one and I've saved one for tomorrow lunchtime. But the point I'm trying to make is I've really noticed a difference in my weight. Not that we have scales in the house because we've never had scales in the house um, for weighing yourself. Um, but just having one wrap or one sandwich at lunchtime for the last two weeks, I have so noticed a difference. Especially my energy levels. So I'm feeling really good. And if I can do it, then oh my days, anyone can do it, honestly. Once you get into that rhythm, it's very difficult to start with, but once you get into a rhythm of just having, well for me, like one sandwich for lunch. Oh my days guys, I'm so waffling, I do apologise. But yeah, it's made a massive difference anyway, hence I've got more energy. I can fly up Priest Hill a lot faster than I've ever done before, like I did on Sunday. And um, yeah, I just feel really good. That's the, um, yeah, that's the um, sort of main reason for mentioning that. Oh, guys, what am I dribbling on about? <laughs> but I'm sure you know what I mean. I feel so much better for cutting down on lunchtime food. It's incredible. Did you see that phone box I passed earlier in the vlog? I had to stop and get in a bleak tree. Les Wint's telephone box photo opportunity picture. <laughs> so I will uh, put that up in the vlog and on Strava. I'm up this lane and I'm sure the farmer was cutting the hedges back yesterday. You know, on his big tractor thing, so there's loads of um, chippings and cuttings in the middle of the lane. I don't want to go down this lane because I'll, I'll know I'll, that I'll get a puncher. My God, I can't even speak. But yeah, you can see the tops of the hedges are all flat. Okay I'm guys, just so just back from the ride, that's absolutely superb. Loved it out there this afternoon. Um, just 16 miles, got a few PRs as well. So more than happy with that. Excuse the noise of the washing machine, that is so annoying. Um, right, just gonna head up to the post office now. Post these two um, ride of the week caps off to David and Danny and then um, 
I think me and Donna are going out for a date night tonight just to one of the local pubs for dinner, so that should be really nice. We have not been on a date night for months. So, should be good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support and a massive thank you to all you subscribers, old and new. It's uh, Your support is really much appreciated. Look after yourselves, stay safe out there and I'll see you in a couple of days with another vlog. Bye for now.